It is mandatory that all doctors, nurses and other persons directly handling COVID-19 confirmed patients wear this kind of protective gear for their own safety. This is the overall that you put on top. But it has emerged that PPEs that were previously imported were actually not protective at all. It is just thanks to God that our doctors have not been falling sick. Some of these uh, imported PPEs have been really below standards. The government has now banned the importation of such PPEs and instead resorted to manufacturing the equipment locally. According to Health CS Mutahi Kagwe, there is quality material available in Kenya to produce genuine and quality PPEs. We can produce upwards of 25,000 uh, PPEs per day with just uh, the companies that have been approved by the doctors. And I want to insist that doctors will not be exposed, we will not agree, we will not accept as a ministry any materials that the doctors themselves are not comfortable with. Following a sudden trend of COVID-19 patients dying at home, especially in Mombasa, for failure to visit hospitals, the government has now asked families not only with confirmed cases of COVID-19, but also any other disease to seek medical attention immediately. Our only concern is those people who are dying at home, those people who are not going to the hospital, you are sick and you are afraid to go to the hospital. We have been told by our doctors very clearly that the disease affects people a lot more if somebody is at home, sick, and those taking care of the individual will fall sick. I think it is very, very important to appreciate that you do not want to become a problem for your family. And therefore, take it seriously. Don't, when, if you are feeling unwell, please, please visit the hospital. There has been an increase in the number of truck drivers testing positive for COVID-19. The drivers, in addition to undergoing mandatory tests before departure, they will not be allowed to leave any station without a clearance certificate. Kama wewe ni dereva wa truck, na unakuja, unapitia machakos na umetoka Mombasa. Sasa tuta make sure kwa boda ya machakos. Kama hauna barua ya kuonyesha na umepimwa na huko negative umetoka Mombasa, hatuta kuruhusu kuingia machakos na kupeleka ugonjwa the rest of the country. Today, after conducting tests on 2,567 people across the country, 52 people were confirmed to have been infected with the virus. Five patients fully recovered, raising the number of recoveries to 380. There was no fatality reported today. The death toll still remains at 50. Nairobi took the lead today, reporting 23 new cases, with Mombasa recording seven cases. Busia County has also reported seven cases. The health ministry has urged the Busia County government to put extra measures in place to curb further spread of the virus in their region. I have repeatedly said, if we behave normally, <laughs> this disease will treat us abnormally. Dennis Matarake, 24, weekend with Betty.